I, I knew that this was where I was supposed to be. This is where I was meant to settle. And I bought this property with some money I had saved um, and, uh, and set to work building a, a cabin in the forest. And I knew that in this cabin, I was there to do something very specific. And I had already met my mentor and begun my, my study of ancient medicine. And so I stayed up in the forest day after day, month after month, year after year, for several years, really, and, uh, and just lived deep, deep in nature. And uh, the house itself is, is, is really kind of magical. I didn't put any mirrors. There's no, there's no way to stare at yourself in the mirror or even shave, right, and, and see what's going on as you age. It was kind of an interesting experiment, but I would stay up in the forest for months at a time with no real contact, really. I mean, this was pre-email. I didn't check email. I didn't give a damn about email. Nobody really was glued to the computer or some device 24-7. And, uh, and I count myself very lucky for that. I think all the electronics has made everyone nuts. And it's also been very unproductive for a lot of people. Um, at the time that I was there, it was very easy for me to just get work done. Hello. Hello, caballos, cabras. I don't know if you can see a goat over here. Hello, goat. What are you doing? Hello. Caballo. And so, of course, I would come down to, to get supplies or anything else, but it just worked. I just stayed in the forest and I studied. Now, this place has undergone some changes in the last 20 years. The growth actually has been, has been really, really spectacular. Um, but at the time that, that I was here, starting in 2000, I actually did have that little corner of the forest all to myself for five years before we had any kind of, of uh, neighbors. And I feel like even to this day that medicine chose me, that various things simply happened, like the finding of property in the forest that I could afford at a time when I was ready to do that. All of those things actually coalesced for me in a very interesting series of, well, we use the word coincidence, but is it really, right? If you look at your life, most of the main moments and points in which right you departed from something and found something truly great all of those are, are what we call coincidence or synchronicity right and I have a lot to say about this phenomenon because I really it it ran my life for a number of years and it was a hell of a way to live right just basing your decisions on the synchronicities that that were happening at the time hola que tal buenos días todo bien gusto verte igualmente sí paseando Platicamos. hola que tal bueno está bien pasan And so, my experience in medicine was so atypical and non-traditional that I should find an actual mentor to teach me the fundamentals of ancient natural healing practices. And that I understood that there would come a time when people really needed to know this. I was on fire to try to share this with people from the beginning. And I'm a bit of a teacher by nature, and so... I wanted to, to put together curriculum and teach people how to do what I was learning to whatever degree possible. It's not like, it's not like everybody wants to learn medicine or, or do what I did, but it is fairly interesting that somebody with no medical background, no medical training was able to do what I did and then also systematize and really catalog what it was that I was learning. I put all of this together in my barefoot medicine training which I'm going to tell you about, and I'm going to tell you how you can, can learn, and I'm going to share it with you here at the end of these videos. So, let's continue. 